Hello everyone, we are Group 14. We, our topic is on communication. Um, firstly, I should say communication occurs everywhere when you do talking, chatting, sending emails. That's in all different types of communication. It happens in everywhere our daily life to share information, to inform someone about something else. Um, news can be another type of communication where you know, they um, inform you the news around the world. But there's always an issue that my everyone had to uh, experience in their lifetime, misunderstanding. This is an example of how misunderstanding can be uh, can happen. Like someone say something and another person understand it differently. Yep. Why? Uh, the uh, question of our communication is why is what is said not always what's heard. But there are two uh, there's two sides of this problem because one is because of the per the speaker didn't talk very, very clear. The um, the sentence is vague. Another issue is because the um, listener is listener interpret wrong the meaning of the uh, question or the sentence. All right, guys, I've brought you all in today because a very important client has come my way and he needs it as uh, he needs his bridges on. A um, few details on it is that it needs to span 12 metres. It's located uh, just down the road here, but it's located in some pretty sandy soil, which might cause a few issues. So, if you guys could get back to me by the end of the day, just a little, uh, little bit of um, brief design, that'd be good. Thanks. Um, that first scenario shows an example of myself poorly describing the task at hand. I didn't allow for any question time and. Uh, the key, the key parameters were very briefly mentioned. Um, in the following scenario, I will explain the task ahead, the task at hand, in a much clearer way. Okay, guys, I've brought you in here today because a pretty important client has come my way, and he needs a bridge designed. Um, he's given us a few specifications on it. It's uh, 12 metres in length, and uh, it's located on the corner of uh, Jenny Road and Beach Road. So down that way, it's pretty sandy soil. So just remember to take that into account when you're designing. Um, now it's only a single lane bridge and it receives pretty low traffic so it's nothing out of the ordinary there. Um, he's given us about a $1 million budget on it and if you can get your designs to me by 5pm that'll be good. Uh, any further questions on that? Um, no, I can't. Cool, man. Yeah. See ya. Yeah, I do have some questions but I have to leave now. Email later for more details, alright? Yeah, no worries. Yep. Cool. Fine. As you can see in the second scenario, um, one of the person left as soon as the meeting was over. This was because he thought that he had obtained enough information since the speaker gave a much clearer explanation on the topic this time. He didn't ask for any clarification, which is a mistake since this will cause, will cause some doubts to occur in his understanding of the topic, which will cause will impede the actual doing of the task. This will cause unacceptable result for the task since he didn't ask, didn't have enough information which could affect the final outcome of the task. On the video, the, conversa the conversation is objectively clear, but the listener didn't understand clearly what is said and may want to hear something else. So the listener sent an email to the manager to get more details about the project. One way to ensure people to understand the task at hand is to send an email, clear up, clear follow up email after the conversation to recap it and ask for email com confirmation. This will ensure both parties fully understand what what was discussed and what is expected of them. This can also be used when the time for conversation is limited. Okay, let's see the other part of the video. Uh, yes, I do have some questions actually. Oh, yeah, no, far away. As can be seen from the video, the third person was not confident that they fully understood everything that was being said. So they decided to stay back and ask questions and therefore seek clarification on the task. In all communications, it is common that a uh, listener may misinterpret or not hear correctly what was being said. This could be due to the fact that the uh, topic was technically challenging or due to the fact that they um, may already have ideas about what, what's being said and may neglect to hear some important details and could have adverse consequences as a result. 
<clears throat> generally, the uh, speaker should take it upon themselves to make sure that the listeners understand correctly. But if this is not the case, the listener can address this uncertainty or misunderstanding in uh, two key ways. The first is that they can ask the speaker directly a question regarding their problem. And the second way is that they can um, paraphrase what they've just heard. So this means that they uh, will repeat what they have just heard in their own words, and then the listener will, um, <coughs> the speaker will know for sure whether they have understood correctly or not. As can be seen, communication is present in everyday life, but without clear and concise communication, there can be misunderstandings. To clarify any potential issues that may occur, there's a few ways this can be addressed. Firstly, the person speaking can send an email to the listeners for, con like for confirmation, or the speaker can ask the listener to paraphrase what he just said to make sure the listener understands. Also, the listener could ask the speaker any questions or the listener could send an email for confirmation.